Number six. Are you getting blessed? The rich have great courage and persistence. The rich have great courage and persistence. Whereas the poor easily give up. Poor people easily give up. They start a business, it does not work, they quit. They start building a house, it does not work, they quit. But the rich, they are courageous people. When one door closes, they force another one to open. When one strategy fails, they start another one. Wealthy people are highly courageous people. They are persistent. Very persistent. Hallelujah. You can see somebody who is rich. Five years after he told you in the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of poverty. Nothing has changed in his life. But you come and meet him and his goal is still intact. You laugh at him and say, Bros, why are you fooling yourself? Just, just agree that it's not your turn to shine. And the person will tell you, I'm still reading the book. Five years from the time he made that decision, he's still studying the books. He's still growing. He doesn't have a car yet, but he's still growing. He's still staying in the old house, but he's still growing. You knew him with that one trouser. Five years later on, he's still wearing it, but he's still growing. That's a rich man. His status will most certainly change. What have you given up on? God gave you the direction. God gave you the grace. But he never told you the road will be easy. Preachers lied to you that if you are anointed, it will be a bed of roses. Preachers lied to you that if God is with you, it will just be a walkover. Preachers lied to you that if you are anointed, you will start a business and it will be flawless because the Holy Spirit is at work in your life. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Failure is a prerequisite in the school of success. You have nothing to tell me if you have not failed in life. You have not earned the right to counsel me if you do not have a track record of failure. What you see today as your failure will become your symbol of wealth. It will become the throne that you will sit upon. Rich people have failed. You cannot imagine. You cannot imagine how many times they will start 10 businesses, all of them will fail. They will do a lot of things, it will not work. But persistence and courage. When everybody is criticizing them, they are busy working. When everybody is saying, why must you keep doing this, eh? Someone tries to ask two ladies out. You ask the first one, say, sorry, I'm already engaged. You ask the second one, say, no, no, no. God has already revealed my husband to me. You are not the one. After two opportunities, you will never ask a lady again to get married to. Because you sit there and say, Kai, me, I, I can't, I'm not a fool. I can't be taking embarrassment like that. You will marry, oh, let me tell you in advance. If you don't take the courage to continue, ladies, shout continue. Every door cannot be closed. No, sir. One door will most certainly open. Hallelujah. Very important. Are you a courageous person? Are you persistent over your goals? Or do you just give up easily? I refuse to give up. In the name of Jesus. You are a pastor here. You, you started a walk and it looks like nothing is happening. And you are truly called, but you are about to give up. You are a businessman about to give up. You are a family man about to give up. Refuse to give up. And I tell you, at the other side of your pain is celebration. Like a woman, right? When she goes in to deliver, there are times she may want to give up. And the midwives and the nurses are encouraging her and telling her, don't worry, don't worry. Say, is it like that for every woman? No, it's only me. They say, it's like that. Just, just give up. Don't, don't give up, for instance. And then they continue motivating her. And finally, the baby is out. Sometimes she may need to go through CS. As painful as it is, the baby still comes. The Bible says, do not be weary in well-doing. It said, for we will reap in due season if you faint not. But if you faint, you will not reap. Say, I refuse to faint. Let me give us two more and then we'll move to the formula for wealth. Hallelujah. Ready? Number seven. The rich are great risk takers. While the poor 
are always afraid to take risks. Wealthy people are great risk takers. They step out of their comfort zone and they walk on water. If I perish, I perish. If I fail, I will learn from it. If I succeed, let God be praised. Poor people are the easy goers. Hey, be careful, Lo. Eh? You want to buy a golf and start a transport business. Somebody said, you know the way Nigeria is. They will go and hijack your car somewhere. Have you not seen people minding their business and armed robbers entered and carried the car from the garage and went with it? The rich are great risk takers. Not foolish risk takers, but great risk takers. In 2010, when we were having the Kingdom Wealth Summit, I taught them that the spelling of faith in the world of finance is R I S K. Spell it R I S K. When you are spelling faith in the finance world, that's how it is spelled. You must take risks. You must take risks. Not foolish risks, but you must take risks. It's a risk to marry, it's a risk to be single. It's a risk to start a building project. It's a risk to get a job. Don't you know it's a risk to transport yourself from here to Sabo every day for work? Is that not true? You can have an accident. Something can happen. God forbid, but a crisis can break out. Something can happen that can affect you. Is it not a risk? But it's a risk worth taking. When you tell somebody you want to marry him, is it not a risk? You are willing to submit to a man whose ideologies you are not exactly, you are not 100% sure of. You don't know what he can become. Yet you are willing to do that. It's a risk. Life is a risk. Not taking a risk is a bigger risk. You must take risks. This ministry is a risk. Nobody gave us a guarantee that crowds will be inside and outside. Faith is spelled R-I-S-K. When the people were setting up the sound in the morning, none of you signed an agreement that by 5 o'clock you will be here. None of you signed an agreement. But it took courage. We had to step out. Haven't prayed. Haven't fasted. We have believed God. And we are taking a risk. Miracle service is a risk. You don't know who is coming with whatever sickness. People can bring the dead. People can bring anybody. But you, you are willing to take that risk. Are you willing to take risks? Or you are part of the easy people? When I was in secondary school, there was a Babin saloon called Easy Does It. You do that for life, you will fail. Oh, just, just take it easy. Don't, don't do this. Customers didn't come today. Close your shop. It's a sign that God is not with you. Who told you it's a sign that God is not with you? It's a sign that you are growing. It's only a witch as a baby who will just get up. Imagine that a woman gives birth to a child and he just stands up. Mommy, where is the food? That's a, that's a wizard. That's, that's an illegitimate child. That's, that's, a, that's a, a breed between angels and men. That's not a pure human being. And Jesus grew. Everybody say it. Jesus, your king of kings, he grew in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with men. If Jesus grew, you must grow. Hallelujah. Lastly, number eight. The difference between the rich and the poor. The rich have a positive mental attitude. Please write, write, write it down as fast as you can. The rich have a positive mental attitude. Please pay attention to what I'm telling you. Because after this, I'm about to teach you what I call the grand formula for wealth and abundance. I give you a guarantee. I give you a guarantee that anyone that diligently follows this, even the dullest of us, if you follow what I'm giving you, you will be rich. And rich does not mean buy a car, buy a house. That's survival. The rich, write it down please, have a positive mental attitude towards the opinion of others. The rich have a positive mental attitude towards the opinion of others and never let opinions kill their dreams. 
the rich have a positive mental attitude towards the opinion of others and never let opinions kill their dreams while the poor are easily influenced the poor have a poor esteem of themselves the poor have a poor esteem of themselves and are easily influenced away from their dreams by the opinion of others the poor they fundamentally have a poor esteem of themselves and so when people begin to talk about them they are easily influenced away from their dreams by the opinion of others so many of us are here right now so many of us are here the opinions of people is what has stopped you from being rich what would they say what if i fail will they laugh at me the other time they saw me frying akara and the news spread around samaru so what so what about it have you forgotten that if you remain persistent those who laugh at you will laugh with you that the reason why they are laughing at you is because they are secretly intimidated by your persistence criticism is simply an opinion harshly expressed it's an opinion there are people today joshua selman is to them a great man of god that they love there are people today joshua selman is a devil and a fake man of god there are people joshua selman is whatever they want to call i learned by experience to ignore the opinion of others and to move forward if you follow what people say about your life they will kill you and ask others to come and see your dead body whether you do well they will talk about you whether you do bad they will talk about you they are still talking about jesus and we are still talking about satan everybody in between will be talked about so deliver yourself tonight in the name of jesus christ from the influence of the opinion of others they are spreading rumors around that i like money is it true no mind your business say see i heard that you are the one that said i'm, I'm not i'm not what the, look let me tell you trying to defend yourself is the quickest way of trying of of giving people an impression like what they are saying is true they now start using white sayings like there's no smoke without fire there can be smoke without fire ask those who smoke cigarettes Status is changing, there's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. Sing it one more time. Status is changing, there's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I so believe well that the word of the Lord is bringing so much change to your life without doubt and if you have been mightily blessed I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with us do well to also share this video with your loved ones family members friends and all so as this light of the lord that has come to your way will also get to others i love you so much we love you so much stay tuned